welcome to another GRE video. I'm Alice, aka Chewing Gum Freak, and I will be talking about some different vocab associated with the quantitative portion. Now, I got a 332 and a 5.5 on the GRE, so I have this YouTube channel just to make sure all of you can achieve your goal scores in your tests as well. Right now, we're going through the whole coronavirus quarantine sessions, so I'm offering something special. If any of you would like to meet with someone just to ask questions about GRE, to assuage some of your fears, to have someone read over an essay of yours or something of the like, I'm offering free 30-minute sessions with me. I will leave the link to sign up for those below. And if you're watching this in the future, the comments will also let you know if these are still going on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep in mind that here I will assume that you basically have very little knowledge of math and everything else just to make sure everybody's on the same page and we don't lose anyone. That said, if I miss something, if something's confusing, please post it in the comments below. I will see all of them and that could possibly help someone else out. So let's get started. Now with the four basic functions of math, you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So with addition, the end that you have is the sum. With multiplication, the end result is called the product. If you have three times five equals 15, for example, 15 is your product. You also have division and fractions, which are essentially the same thing. With these, you usually have a number on top of the line and a number on the bottom. The number on top is called the numerator or the dividend, and the number on the bottom is usually called the denominator or the divisor. The end result that you have is called the quotient. Now, because you're dividing something, it's also possible that you're going to end up with a fractional or a decimal response. So if we're looking at something like 24 over 5, for example, that's going to equal 4.8 or 4 and 4 fifths. Now that 4 fifths or that 0 0.8 that is left over is called the remainder. You're probably not going to see that a whole lot on the GRE, but certainly it's possible. Now denominators or divisors that evenly split into the original numbers, the numerators or the dividends, these are called factors. So factors are numbers that evenly split into a bigger one. Basically, they don't leave any remainders. So they can be called numbers that divide evenly to get to the quotient. A really good example of a number with a lot of factors is 24. So 24 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So it's got quite a few. Now there's a technique called prime factorization. I will have another video explaining this and different things you can do with prime factorization. But the idea is that you take each number and you break it down into the product of a bunch of prime numbers. So 24, while it has a lot of different factors, if you break all those factors into their prime factors, 24 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So that is going to be its prime factorization. In addition, there are multiples. So this is kind of the opposite of a factor. A multiple is basically multiplying your original number to get a bunch of other numbers. It's your original number times two, times three, times four, and so on and so on. Basically, you're adding that number multiple times. So the end results are multiples. A good example of this are five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and on and on. All of those numbers are multiples of five because it's five multiplied by a certain number or five added by itself over and over and over. 
that's some of the basic vocabulary surrounding multiplication and division for the GRE. Make sure to check out my other videos that will expand on a lot of these concepts more, especially prime factorization. You will see the playlist for that show up around here somewhere. Uh, don't forget to sign up for the free meetings with the link down below. Let me know if there are any topics that you want me to cover. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!